I've been wanting to make this video for a while now, and now that the investigation is over, I would like to address my embarrassing comeback stream in October. My behavior on that stream was absolutely unacceptable. I communicated almost everything terribly, and I was completely tone deaf to such a serious situation. And I'm so sorry for what, how I acted. It was completely insensitive. I want to apologize to everybody, but especially victims of sexual assault. The way I behaved was horrible, and I will be better, and I will learn from this situation. I, I want to be better not only for myself, but for my audience. I, and I want my influence on this world to be positive, and I don't want anybody to deem the way I acted. In I mean, yeah, even if he's reading from a script, it doesn't matter. You know, and that it, first it's not like a, um, I mean, it's, it's right. He's saying the right thing. Acceptable or okay, because it was not, I could talk about how I'm going to do everything differently, but I'd rather just prove it to you guys through better behavior overall and better content. That's really all I wanted to say. Thank you guys for watching this video. And I'm sorry for such a long. Yeah, Miss Kids don't realize, like, his fan base doesn't realize that, like, when you fucking come in and, like, say unhinged shit, you don't make Miss Kid look good. You make him look bad. Like, you're you're not making him look good. Because, like, I, I mean, I don't want him to fuck up, okay? But when you come in here, you you make it seem like, you know, he is, is completely relentless uh, or at least you are uh, completely relentless and act like nothing he didn't do anything wrong but yeah no it's of course he's gonna write a script guys come on you saw how he was on script the last time i don't think there's an issue with that come on dude this is a big you know this is i would rather have him apologize correctly and more importantly than that take atonement uh for his actions and and not repeat shit like this ever again and and uh you know take responsibility uh for what he did rather than uh, you know not do that thank you guys for watching this video and i'm sorry for such a long wait for a response if you are angry with me i completely understand but i absolutely do love this job i love streaming and i hope you guys stick along thank you won't mess up again surely but like dude it, it it's over like here's the reality okay this is kind of like when i fucking ban people and then unban them okay you guys are always like not nah, keep him banned but it's like okay well next time he fucks up it's going to be infinitely more serious because he's already lost any number any shred of charitability that people would offer him in any meaningful capacity not only with his actions but also with his following response chill internet has no memory there won't be any consequences that's also not true that's not true no that's not true there's there are a lot of people that dude i wish the internet had no fucking memory that way people would like stop fucking yelling at me about shit that i haven't done okay once your charitability is gone once your charitability is gone for good reasons or for bad like in my circumstance where I've never done anything fucking uh, actually shitty that deserves people, uh, deserves people's ire to that degree. Okay. Motherfuckers act like I did genocide. Like they just say whatever the fuck. But no, people do remember and they bring it up. Anyway. <sighs> do you believe he's actually sorry though usually i'm sympathetic to apologetic parties who are perceived to be cynical and doing it out of necessity because i think people are uncharitable but in this case it just feels pretty evident that he just never gave a fuck from the jump it's it's hard for me to make the assessment on whether or not um he is truly apologetic especially because of uh because of his like return uh which is original return stream but ultimately it doesn't even fucking matter if he's authentic or not is my point. Okay. What, what it doesn't matter if he's authentic or inauthentic. It doesn't. 
he did what he did, and only time will show if he's truly, uh, if he if he truly knows he's in the wrong. For a lot of viewers, it does. No, but that's it. Whether he's uh, whether he's authentic in his apology or not is not going to change anything. What is I mean, as far as like whether you feel comfortable watching him or not, okay? I guess that's what it uh, matters. If you're like, oh, is it appropriate to watch him? Is it not appropriate to watch him? Is that what the reason why you're trying to figure it out? Well, then you have to make that assessment on your own. But ultimately, um, you know, I, this is the same exact shit that I tell you all the fucking time. I feel like this isn't going to change most people's opinion of him. If you didn't like him before, this apology is going to change that. Yeah. I'm out of the loop. What has happened between his original comeback and now? Nothing. He just, he waited for the OTK investigation to be concluded to see whether or not, like, uh, the third party would uh, consider his actions to be, like, truly damaging to the organization. I know the investigation is said to have taken place to see what level of wrongdoing misgive engaged in okay but like the real reason why they do stuff like that is obviously what level of wrongdoing he engaged in okay but also on top of that uh you know is it redeemable and and how important is he for the for the maintenance of the organization how important is he as a as an asset to the organization Okay. And the only reason why I can say it doesn't fucking matter right now is because the person who is responsible for the main act, right? The actual act, the the sexual assault itself has already been dealt with. If that was not the case, then we would be having an entirely different conversation. You know what I mean? This is more, that's why his apology doesn't feature uh, Crazy Slick at all. You 100% sure? What do you mean? Don't compare ban on this chat the shit to cover sexual assault. Wait, what? I've already told you whether Miskiff intended to like in a mastermind capacity, like a chess master, send Maya over there strategically. Okay, to silence uh, Adriana okay and then Maya was like of course Miskiff uh, you know I will follow your bidding and do this or not what both of, what they engaged in was wrong Maya personally recognized it I said that it is wrong even if you did not intend for that to be the the wrong thing I still it's still a wrong thing Maya explicitly says she didn't cover up sexual assault. Oh, God, I hate this because it's like, it's frustrating to have this conversation over and over again with like Twitch people because like I've talked about it so many fucking times, okay? Oh my God. Maya took responsibility because her presence there was not appropriate, okay? That's why she took responsibility and apologized. If Miskiff had done the same thing, it would have. This would not have even happened. Like there, there would be, he would not, he he would not be apologizing now. He would have apologized back then, and then uh, you know people would yell at him in the beginning, but he would have been streaming months ago. Okay, just because Maya didn't go there to be like, I'm going to make sure you rewrite your fucking. A thing I don't think you got sexually assaulted or I'm mm, I'm trying to fucking stop you from openly admitting uh, that uh, you know you got sexually assaulted which I don't think is what happened anyway 
Okay. Even if she was like, even if she had honest intentions to be like, I want to go and figure out what the fuck happened there. That's still the wrong thing to do because again, like your friends were crazy slick. You're living in the house with them. It's the wrong thing to do, which is exactly what Maya understood and apologized for. That's it. But as far as like, um, you know, as far as his involvement goes, or as far as his like, uh, <sighs> as far as the things that he said thus far, like this is the first time where he is saying the right things, which is why I'm telling you, Ultimately, the main person that was uh, responsible, the main responsible party has been dealt with, hopefully, okay? So, in this circumstance, all only time will tell if he's truly uh, changed his behavior. That's it. Like, this is actually a good take. The call made it pretty hard for anyone to argue that Miz was ignorant of his intent of sending Maya, which is... Like, even if he originally fucking wanted to figure out whether or not uh, this person had actually done, uh, you know, whether it was, like, truly a fact-finding mission or whatever, the call made it seem like, even after the fact, that he was, like, still interested in defending his friend. That he kept calling him his friend, his best friend. So much so that we were like, what is he fucking, like, dating? Is he in love with Crazy Slick? If you remember. And that is unacceptable I think he understands that at least this apology makes it seem as though he does anyway 